And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. And it's episode 60, so you know what that means. Who did it better? Did it better indeed, exactly. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone for being here with us. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. If you've never seen an episode of Who Did It Better before, let us tell you what it is. So, in this episode, we use the same colours and the same technique. And we're going to produce two pieces for you on the channel. And we're going to ask you guys to decide who did it better. We then keep a score. So, Jeremy. Yes. If you'd like to reveal exactly where we are up until this point, please. Yes. Do it. Ta-da! So, I was a little ahead for a little while, but then you pulled back. And we're now at six to five for this, up until this episode of Who Did It Better. You've been producing some beautiful pieces of artwork. Uh, we both have, but for some reason, you know, the guys at home have liked mine just a tad better. That's okay. It's always super close, always. And for you guys out there, you know this is super healthy competition. Oh yeah. And we love competing against each other oh, yeah. in a very healthy way. Exactly. So you're never upsetting anyone's feelings if you vote one way I, or the exactly. other. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I know. The, I feel the love. Exactly. I feel the love. We feel the love in all the heart, the comments, and the likes and the subscribes. So today's episode is going to be two Dutch pours. Mm. And the colours today are an inspiration from a pour that the lovely Fiona and oh. her daughter-in-law, Marina, did on their channel. I reached out to Fiona and said, hey, we love these colours. Could we please replicate them in our most next episode? And she said, of course, please. So these colours are the ones that Fiona and Marina used. Hmm. And when nice. was the last time you did a Dutch pour? It was a little while ago. It's been a while. Yeah. It has been a while. So that's how it goes, folks. Um, we're going to pour a couple of Dutch pours and then we'll ask you guys to let us know who did it better. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get painting. Okay, guys, it is Jeremy here. I'm excited about doing this Dutch pour today on the Who Did It Better version. Mm -hmm. um, so we will see what happens. Um, I want to introduce my colors. Um, of course, the first... Uh, paint that we're using is the Deco Art Metallics Golds. We got the Goldens Green Gold or Vert. <laughs> it French. says or Vert, mm -hmm. if I even said that right. Deco Art Metallics. Uh, this is the Bronze Antique, bron Antique Bronze. And we got the Van Dyke Brown by Goldens. And because we just finished the tub, the Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Oh, and because we finished the tub. Right. <laughs> the Greenish Blue, uh, you can't really see down in that cup, but it's like this really beautiful blue color. You, you're gonna see it whenever, uh, right. uh, whenever I pour it. And as we said in the intro, these colors were an exact replica of Marina's and Fiona's from the Dutch pour that they did. I reached out to Fiona and asked if we could use these colors and she was like, of course. Of course. Of course. So let's see Fiona. how this goes. All right, so I got my base coat right here. It's gonna be white. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. And that's Blick White. And um, as you all know, the Goldens and the Blick colors, you can always grab through the affiliate link within our uh, description box. And it's a 20 by 20 inch gallery, gallery wrap canvas. canvas. It is taped on the back and pins. Yay. We will show you that with Lee's canvas because I totally just blitzed over that. <laughs> And our mixing recipe, if you've watched episode number 54, is our thin recipe this time because it is a Dutch pour. So that's 50% Floetrol, 25% acrylic, and 25% water for whatever your total volume is. For us, because we're both using these, that's one ounce of Floetrol, half an ounce of paint, half an ounce of water. The only caveat is that your Golden's colors are heavy bodied, and so we'll need an extra splash of water to get them the same consistency as all the other paints. And even the base coat is mixed 50, 25, 25. 
all of your paints in a Dutch pour need to all be the same consistency. That's like really super important. All right guys, I got my canvas all flooded and um, I'm gonna now layer my paint for this Dutch pour, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I think I'm going to start with the gold. Ooh, and um, what, what kind of composition are you gonna do? That's a good question. It is. I well, think I'm gonna it's do- It's one that is important as you're just about to throw some paint on it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a nice little- Squiggly. Squiggly. Okay, go for your little worm. Yes. I'm now gonna go with the Van Dyke Brown. Which we haven't used a lot of. We haven't used a lot of this in the channel before. Lovely thin layer of it there. Yes, I don't want it to take over. Right. Um, next, I'm going to do the Vert, the green. Green gold. Green gold. Lovely. Um, I'm gonna do the blue, blue. This is a beautiful blue. It's the greenish blue by Amsterdam, which is a really wonderful color. Yeah, this is a gorgeous color. Okay. And then I'm going to do the bronze. I'm trying to be very careful. All right. So you you just you're going to do what we normally do on the channel, just blow this one out yes. straight. Okay. Yeah. Now between us, we call this the Canella blowout because she doesn't pour white on top of her colours to blow them out again. Okay. I'm going to do the rinse gun molly blowout. So I'm actually going to put my white on top, and I'll show you. We'll show you the differences between the two pours as we do it. Okay. So I'm just doing you do your regular. Normal, you do your normal Dutch pour. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, I got my cam, uh, my camera. <laughs> I have my camera here. I have my uh, blow dryer here. I love this blow dryer. Um, it has done me so well. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get doing it. Okay. I'm gonna cut you guys out so you don't have to hear the blow dryer. Right. And cue music. All right, I mean, I'm kind of digging it. I think this area here got a little thick. Um, I love this, this, all this, up until about this point right here. So I'm thinking I might try to blow over it one more time. Okay. Um, and just see if I can get this a little more- Dispersed. Dispersed. If not, I'll pour a little bit of white paint and yeah. It's your prerogative. It's my prerogative. And it is who did it better, so you can do whatever you want. All right, here we go, here we go.
Okay, so I'm kind of digging this. What I think needs to happen is, I think I need to blow a little bit of this out. And I, I think this needs just a little bit. So I'm going to use the smaller blow dryer, the little handy dryer here, um, uh, blow dryer here. Um, and uh, I'm going to blow this out just a little bit more because I'm kind of liking this now. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, now I'm done. I'm really liking what happened with this all up in here. I love how you can see this like leafy, like kind of texture that's going on right here. And that might change as it dries as well I know. and get darker. Mm -hmm. I know. The white might suck up some of this paint. So I think it was a little too wispy before and I'm liking what's happened now with this. Um, I'm actually really, really, really in love with this. There's like hints of gold right mm -hmm. here that are just popping through that, that are so like. pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm good. I really like this. I'm done. Let's clean up your edges and take them in for yes. a close up. All right, clean up the edges. Ladies and gentlemen, um, you've just seen Jeremy do a really beautiful Dutch pour. So the advantage of going second is I know what I've got to beat. And it also helps me think about how I'm layering my colors because I'm using exactly the same ones that he did. So I've got my 20 by 20 inch canvas that has been flooded with a white base coat. Using exactly the same colors as Jeremy, I'm gonna layer. And I'm actually going to do the same kind of composition, but I am going to do mine a little different. We will show you how that is. So I'm going to start with my Van Dyke Brown. Ooh, right. you are getting crazy with it. I'm getting cray cray up in here. Okay, now this is my gold. And I'm going in with my next metallic, so this is my copper. Uh, sorry, bronze. OK. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with the green gold. And then finally on the top with the blue. Oh, there's a big blob of green gold at the end that I just spotted. Can you guys see that? <laughs> okay, right. Um, next, I am going to do a layer of white on either side and then below that into my colours. So it's exactly the same base mix as what's on top. And I'm going to layer that on either side of my colours. And if I may, yes. Um, remember how they blow it like this, and then this one, they go yes. back and forth. Yes, I am going to do exactly that. Oh, okay. Using Pinky here, my baby hairdryer, I'm going to now blow this out. I'm going to cut you out so you don't have to hear it, but let's see what happens. Okay, that's my colours layered with the white. Now let's blow this bad boy out. Wow. Wowzers. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers. Okay. Wow, this is selling up cray cray. Let's just torch this bad boy. I mean, that's, a, that's stunning. Thank you, baby. Wow, we got some amazing, like, cells and some beautiful lacing going on over here. There's a couple of big bubbles. What I see. There's one. There and there. There's right one. Right there. Got it. You get it? Yeah, you got it. Let's just make sure we get everything on here. Popping these bubbles not to really create cells because I have so many of them, but just to get the bubbles that are within the paint. And I'm going to go in the white here as well, just in case. That's stunning. Thank that you, baby. Beautiful, beautiful job, babe. Thank you. Gosh, wow, thanks. Okay, just thinking about the composition, seeing if I need to like futz with it, change it in any way. You know, I, I actually really don't think I want to. I wouldn't. I think, I think it's kind of, I think what's going to happen is I think like Jeremy said earlier, it will just stretch down. It will shrink down a little bit. Um, but I like the way we've got these kind of leafy elements to it and the colors in the middle are really beautiful. Okay, that's it. Guys, I am really happy with this one. I'm going to grab my edges real quick with a popsicle stick because I don't want it pulling off my composition off the canvas. And then we'll take you in for a real quick close up. Thanks guys. So there you have it, folks. Yes. A couple of uh, Dutch pours. Using two slightly different techniques, 
Um, you use the technique that we always see Canela do. So it's yeah. Canela's mm -hmm. pour, without pouring the without white. Without pouring the white over. Exactly, yeah. and I use the one that Rinska does. Um, both giving beautiful results. I really yes. enjoyed that Dutch pour. I know, you could say it was a double Dutch pour. It was a double hey. Dutch pour, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I really enjoyed those. I thought they were really cool. Um, and I just love a Dutch pour. There's something about it. It's a really nice and fluid kind of, you know, pour. It is because it's using fluid paint. Um, all right guys, let's take you in to see another look at the wet results. So there you have it folks, you're voting for either Jeremy or Lee on the who did it better, the unicorn <laughs> in the gym, the show pony, not the workhorse. Um, yeah, I haven't got anything else to say. I really, really love those colours. Thank you for the inspiration, Fiona and Marina. I know, if, absolutely. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. This will be a particularly quick episode for you guys um, on this lovely Tuesday Eve. We will see you back here for another premiere on Friday night, just ahead of the Sunday um, live stream. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for that live stream, you guys. At two o'clock. And our Sunday premiere at five o'clock with the lovely AZ Rock Garden Designs by Julie E. Yes, and that one is gonna be amazing. Magical, some may say. We'll explain more about that as the week progresses. Right, guys, so enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening, and we'll see you back here on Friday for another episode. Yes. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye. Bye.